the Toronto Sustainability Speakers Series is tremendous because what this series does is bring business people together who care about sustainability um, to share knowledge, ideas, hear from great speakers, and that's the way we're going to succeed. This is an international challenge. If our national governments work in partnership with our cities and help empower, engage, and resource them, we can succeed. And I find that a tremendously exciting thing, and I think it's a message everyone needs to hear. We're here to talk about climate change and how we are addressing that at a local level, whether we're, how we're adapting to some the changes we're seeing because of climate change and also what are we doing to mitigate our current activities that are contributing to climate change. Most of the people in the world today live in cities and that's a change. That's only about since 2008. It's also where most of the economy is and cities are also the place that are seeing the brunt of extreme weather events already. We're experiencing extreme weather events that in the past might have occurred once every one in 100 years. Now they're occurring on a frequency of perhaps every five years or every 10 years and we're seeing it manifested in a number of negative ways. I mean, I think the immediate issue we're facing in Toronto is these really serious storms that cause literally hundreds of millions of dollars of damage to public infrastructure and private infrastructure. What are the practical, meaningful, cost-effective initiatives we can embrace to limit the negative impacts of events that will be very detrimental if they're not otherwise addressed? The biggest misconception about climate change is that we can't solve the problem. And we can. If you solve your environmental challenges the right way, you will create significant numbers of jobs. And there are examples from leading cities all around the world of solving environmental challenges while creating jobs. I think what we're going to see over the next five years is that move even more quickly than what we've seen in the last five. Um, because we've reached a point where a number of projects are right at the tipping point of moving. Really scale projects that are really going to start to demonstrate what this means to a community and what it can look like. Blue collar jobs, white collar jobs, and inventive jobs, entrepreneurial jobs, all coming when you start from the premise that we have to be sustainable. Um, and that's a society that's sustainable socially as well as economically and environmentally. And I think we can see in five years huge steps taken towards that kind of economy. Well, I think for us, we've recognized that environmental sustainability and economic prosperity go hand in hand. They're not two separate things. One doesn't happen at the expense of the other. And I think once you get your head around that thinking, all kinds of things are possible in the community.